Hello again, it's Miss Jones from So With Miss Jones. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to mark your fabric so that you can get ready to start sewing. The first thing that we need to do is take off the pattern, but don't throw it away because we're going to need it to do a little bit of measuring. Okay. So, I only need one of these to do the measure, to do the marking. So, I am just going to pick one of them. It doesn't matter. Make sure you put that back in your bag so you don't lose it. And I want the wrong side up. The wrong side is the lighter of the two sides. It, this side has more ink on it than this, or, or fabric dye than this one does. And if you notice, this right here says that you're going to use a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, which means we need to make marks along here that are 5 eighths of an inch from the edge. Now, I am, uh, I'm not going to mark the dots the way I normally do because we're going to use the intersection of these two lines for that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my seam gauge and I'm going to set it at 5 eighths of an inch. Find the half inch that's halfway between the, the one inch and the very end and then you're going to go one little line past that and that's 5 eighths of an inch. Okay? five-eighths of an inch. Now, if you don't have a seam gauge like this, and that's possible, what you could do is don't try to do it just with your measuring tape. What you should do is find a note card, find the five-eighths of an inch on here, which is the, here's the half an inch, and then it is the second line here not the first line, because that's actually a sixteenth. So that one, it's halfway between the inch and the half of an inch, so that's three-fourths. We want to be at that one right there, okay? Draw that on a piece of paper, or you actually could even use this measurement that is here. And let's check to make sure that that's five-eighths of an inch, and it sure is. So you could use this measurement right here. Um, This actually, if you notice, it's not printed on the other side. And the lady who created this put this together so you could use this to me measure with if you wanted to. So you could take your scissors and cut very carefully along this, cut the end off even right with the black line here and here, and then you can use that to measure with. But I'm going to use my seam gauge. So the first thing that I'm going to do is down near this end, I'm going to put the little slider thing right next to the edge of the fabric, and I'm going to make a little mark. Now one of the things about drawing on fabric that's different from drawing on uh, paper is you can't make big long lines. If you do, if you try to do a big long line, it, it kind of bumps around and then you get kind of a funky thing. So I'm just making a little mark. Now, I have those three marks across there. I'm going to take my ruler, and I know my ruler looks different than yours. This is actually um, a quilting ruler, but uh, it works the same. And I am going to line this up here. I want to make sure, I actually can check the 5 eighths of an inch right here, because there's a 5 eighths of an inch mark right there. And I'm going to mark this with little short strokes back and forth. Okay, so I have it lined up with that edge there and little short strokes back and forth. And if you need to do it a few times so that you have a line that you can really see, that's okay. And then I am going to come down here and not, I don't want to do it like right here. I want to do it so that my whole little uh, slider is on the edge. And I'm going to make another mark here. And actually, I'm going to do all of these um, these little marks from end to end on the, um, the fabric so that I can come back later and just draw the lines. So 
you notice this one's going to intersect right here and there's going to be a corner right there. Right where those two things meet, there's going to be a corner. Then I'm going to do this one over here. Make the mark that way. I need to turn this a little bit here and make the mark this way. You notice I'm just making little marks to start with. So that, that's where my corners are going to be there. I forgot to mark that corner over there. I've got to go back and do it. And I've got to mark a corner right here. And then I'm going to turn it this way and mark the intersection right there. And then come up here with this line and mark the intersection up here. And then I forgot this one over here. Let me get this corner right here. I actually have to make this one a little bit longer. There we go. And then this corner right here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler, my longer ruler, and I am going to join up these marks. So I'm going to take my ruler and again I'm going to do little short strokes back and forth. Okay, And then over here I want to line it up with these two that I did over here that are at the angle. And where this is here and where that is there, that's going to be a pivot mark so that we can turn that corner and have a nice crisp corner. And then across the bottom. And actually at the bottom we need to leave a space open that looks like it's about one and three-fourths inches wide. And there's some dots here. You could do it that. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it in the middle. So I'm going to make... No, what is that? Oh, that's about an inch from the edge. So I'm going to go from inch here. And I am going to come over here from this corner and do an inch. And then, to remind me that I'm not going to sew here, I'm going to make an X right through that part of the line. Okay? I'm not going to sew there where that X is. All right, let me get the, the rest of the way around. Oh, and see how that kind of, and part of that is because this is on the bias. It's that squidgy part of the fabric that likes to move around a lot, so I'm not going to push as hard there. And then here's my last one. This one is completely marked and ready to go. And I'm going to pin these three things back together because I do not want to lose any of them and I'm going to put them back in my bag for right now. Okay, now I'm going to mark the apron part. Again, I need to take my pins out. Please make sure that you put these either back in your pin cushion or back in whatever container you're using to hold your pins. So I have folded up the pattern and I'm going to put it back in the, um, the bag because I may need to look at it later. And we're going to start by, according to the directions, the long sides, the bottom, and the top. We're going to mark at 5 eighths of an inch. We are not going to mark the diagonal sides at this point. So I am going to start at the top. And again, I am using my seam gauge set at 5 eighths of an inch. And I'm going to start over here and make a little mark with my pencil. Now I'm going to mark at this end with my pencil. 
I think I'm going to mark all the ends first before I uh, join them together. And actually, I'm probably going to have to put more than one mark on this long side. And I'm probably going to do that at the top as well. So maybe about, my, my uh, ruler is 12 inches long, so I maybe do it about 6 inches apart down this side. And then I want to make sure I do it down at the bottom as well. And I'm going to put one more in here just for luck. I'm going to do the other side exactly the same. I'm not going to show you that because you don't need to see that. It's exactly the same. I'm going to start and put one in the very middle. And then I'm going to come over here and make one on that side. And I'm going to come over here and I want to make sure that I intersect these right here. That's going to be a corner. I'll go ahead and do this bottom one down here so I have the intersection. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm going to do this last line, uh, this last long one off camera. stop. Okay, and I think I'm only going to draw the long line up here. Oh, I might do it down one of the sides just to show you how to do it. So I need another line here. I just want to make sure that this is long enough and my ruler is long enough. I'm going to hold this in the middle. You really do need to hold down on your ruler because if it starts moving around, um, then you're going to be in trouble. So I'm pressing pretty hard down on my ruler. Okay. And then I'm going to show this one, how I do it on this one long side, and then uh, you, you're going to be doing this exact same thing across the bottom and uh, across the other long side, but you don't need to see me do that because it's exactly the same thing. If you notice, I'm going back and forth. I'm not trying to push it real hard all the way down because it'll, it'll bump around if I do that. And I want to line up my lines so that they match down here and they match up here. And then I'm just going to do that kind of back and forth, back and forth. There. Okay, I'm going to finish this side, the bottom, and I'm going to go up the other side. And at the next step, we're actually going to start uh, pinning and learning how to do the stitches. Bye for now.